So good morning and welcome to Hinkley Point C Nuclear Power Station Construction. Uh, my name is Stuart Crooks, I'm the Managing Director for Hinkley Point C and I started my career 34 years ago in construction and commissioning of new nuclear power plants so for me a great privilege to be asked to lead this massive construction of Hinkley Point C. So what is Hinkley Point C? It's a third generation nuclear power plant, it will produce 7% of the UK's electricity. That's an enormous amount of low carbon energy and crucial in our climate change fight. Just a little about where we are then. So I'm stood here on reactor one. So you can just see to my left here, this is the aircraft protection shell. So as I said, this is a third generation plant and you can see the sheer scale of the protection to make sure that the reactor that sits inside the steel container you can see over there very safe no matter what happens externally to the plant. Over on the right hand side you can see again workers fixing tons and tons of steel. In the centre behind me you can see a huge diameter dish. This is 46 metres in diameter manufactured within a 10 millimetre tolerance. 10 millimetres in 46 metres is it's basically watchmaking in an industrial scale. This was manufactured just over on the right hand side on site and lifted by our huge crane, the biggest crane in the world, in one lift over a 12 hour period. By the end of this year, we'll be at two thirds the full height of this reactor building. So behind me, you won't see anything but steel and concrete. We're also going to progress on our turbine hall, which is over on the left. So we will start the steel construction, the turbine hall will start to take shape, and we will see that growing out of the ground very, very soon. The other thing we're going to see is the handover to what we call the mechanical and electrical phase. So what you can see today is mainly concrete and steel. By the end of the year, we will introduce welders, pipe work, cables and electricians. And of course, it's vitally important to us that we prepare for skills in the UK. So when we need those skills, they're ready and they're able to come to Hinkley and start the, uh, the erection phase of the plants. So here at Hinkley Point C, we have about 5,000 people working on site today. But we mustn't forget the many thousands of others working up and down the country tirelessly to support our project. In Yorkshire alone, we have 130 suppliers helping contribute to this. All of the steel you can see around us comes from just across the channel in Wales. And we have many workers from across the UK turning up every day supporting Hinkley Point C. So three years since our final investment decision in 2016, it's fair to say we've had many challenges on this project, but we've also had many successes. We have a very strong reputation now for solving problems here on the site. We require innovation, creativity, novel solutions. And because of that application of science, will and actually determination to succeed, we've managed to maintain our schedule so far. Looking ahead, we know there'll be more challenges and we'll have to face into those. And in doing so, my commitment to you is that we'll be transparent. When we have challenges, we'll share them with you. When we have successes, we'll share them with you. We know it's not easy, but we are committed to making the project a success.